It's February 11, 1986. In Van Rook Creek on the west coast of Cape York Peninsula, Bob McNeil and 31-year-old Kate McQuarrie are checking bear Monday nets when the outboard motor on their dinghy cuts out. They find themselves stranded three kilometers downstream from their fishing boat, Kiama. The two shove the dinghy to the nearest creek bank, disembark, and make their way back on foot along the mangrove entangled shoreline. It's now just a short swim from the creek bank to the Kiama, but this is crocodile territory. The two weigh their options. Neither keen on the prospect of camping overnight in mosquito-infested mangroves, they decide to swim for it. They scan the water for signs of crocs and then sprint for the boat. McNeil makes it first and turns to assist Kate, but as he does, a 5.5 meter crocodile surfaces and shoots towards it. McNeil and a crew member watch in horror as the croc takes Kate and pulls her underwater without a sound. McQuarrie's remains are recovered the next day, found ensnared in one of the vessel's fishing nets.